easing into this patch of red oaks. Came in about 45 minutes ago and found which trees were dropping and dropping a ton. Not all the trees, but in one area there's acorns like everywhere. Found two piles of droppings. On the way in I found a, like three scrapes and a, and a fresh rub. We'll hang a camera on that. Oh, I didn't notice there's a rub on the tree here too. So these first big red oaks up here are not really dropping much. But the ones just past it are. Alright. All the bedding's over there. The whole thicket. Wind is good. I'll see you up in the tree. Well, absolutely nothing tonight. I'll see you in the morning. Big, uh, big swamp chestnut oak here. Not sure if it's dropping yet. I think they tend to drop a little later. It's on the edge of the field, so it's a good observation point and being woods with red oaks mixed in, the deer are probably gonna hunt the edge of this field that I'm headed towards. I'm not gonna hunt by that tree because it's too thick and I didn't see acorns. Just caps, so I'm gonna head on down to another spot I scouted this summer. It's just about like 50, 75 yards down. I'm gonna try to get up this funky tree. I'll see y'all up there. It's 10 o'clock. It's time to do some scouting. Right after that boat came by, I saw those two does and they disappeared in the grass somewhere. I'm guessing they're bedded in that area, so I'm going to try to stay out of it. I might bump them. I might wind bump them if I go back to the canoe, but I've got to go back and uh, get a couple things. But I'm going to walk around and uh, see if I can find anything interesting. I'm not very familiar with this little piece of land here so I want to try to get into kind of cover some ground and see what I can get into. Alright, it's time to do some scouting. Those does were last seen around these tall patches of Johnson grass but I lost sight of them. They, I don't know which way they went. They either went straight near to bed or they went down. They may have gone down that corner there. 
but they could be literally anywhere in here so I'm gonna be quiet and try to get past them and put some miles in see what I can find that honey locust is absolutely loaded that's a good food source Well, apparently they had come down this field edge. One was just poking out of the woods and saw me, of course. And she took off, another one took off, and another one took off. So there's three of them. This little one here doesn't know what to be afraid of because it didn't see me. Wait, here comes another one. Going into that. That's like a slough, I think. I haven't gone over there yet. I don't know about y'all, but that does not look too good. May have to take cover here in a little bit. I'm gonna check the radar. Climb up into the woods here. I'm gonna go over there, it looks a little less thick. I don't know if it's a storm, I think it's just wind. You see it's light on the other side. It's definitely wind, it's blowing me in the shore right here. I checked the radar, there's a bunch of rain north, but it's going west, or it's going east, west to east. Uh, so I don't think anything's gonna hit us. We're just catching some of the sketchy wind on the edge of it, I guess. Before I hit the woods, I had me a little spaghetti All right, let's see what this place has to offer good sign so far is every bit of saw briar in here has a tips eaten off looks like deer have been in here a bunch privets eaten saw briars eaten Every single piece of it has the tips eaten off. I want to go this way. I also want to go that way. Both look really good on Onyx. There is a, looks like a big red oak straight ahead. I'm going to check that first. There's the tree. Not very many acorns at all. But there's a scrape right here. There's another oak right here behind me. It hadn't really dropped either, but... This is a very central location between CRP and, and woods. Like a finger of woods here, finger of woods there, CRP surrounding it. Great central hub, I guess you can call it. But uh, there's a trail cam I just noticed over there. All right, I'm gonna climb this tree. I can shoot the trail. I came in, I came in this way. I can shoot about to the edge of that CRP, but not into it. But I can cover these whole woods here. About a 20 yard radius. The trail camera's right over there. First sign I've seen of another hunter in here, but I'm still gonna hunt it because it looks good and it's a Monday, so got the place to myself. I'll see you in the tree. <laughs> Got the first deer of the evening. Oh, she's about 300 yards away. Oh boy. That's kind of one of the places I wanted to go towards, but probably would have just blown them out getting set up at this time.
Grass is always greener on the other side. I'm actually not sure where the property line is. I need to come back here another day and walk over there. On X is showing that green field where that deer is to be public, but it's right on the line, so they get their property lines from the county, and the county uses those property lines for property tax, so they're not always, they're not actual property deeds, they're not always 100% accurate. So, the only way to tell for sure is to go look for a boundary marker, but it's shown it's on public, so I need to check it out. Clean miss. Well, I got a little intel, nothing here tonight, but that green field up there, I need to go scout around there. I know it's right around the property line, so I need to figure out exactly where that is and see if I can find a place to set up. Might come back here tomorrow, might not, but I'll be back soon, I think. I guess we'll find out tomorrow where I'm gonna go. I'll see y'all later.